Hello and welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss one use case which you have asked on the community is how to sync slicer across two different tables means it's not the same slicer which we are syncing we are trying to sync the slicer across two different table and that too can we do it in the same page so let's say if I have a customer which contains city column and I have a geography which contains city column can we sync these two on the same page as well as on the different page so how can we do that so to do that let's try that out on power bi file so let me open my power bi file so i am here in my power bi file and i am using the generic model which i am using in most of my other videos so here i am using my common sales model which i am using for most of my videos and this model contains a sales table joined with the date item customer and geography table one to many single directional join from dimension to fact the same model we are going to continue here and here what we wanted to try out is basically i would like to add let's say from the customer dimension i have a city and let me convert this into a slicer i have a customer slicer city and i also would like to add a slicer from geography table which is city let me change this also to a slicer so i have two slicers which are basically on city on different one one is on geography city another one is on customer city so if i select one of them as you can see there is no impact on each other but if i go down and add let's say some visual and in that visual i'll take data from item brand and and take a major like net now if i select something let's say i select one of the city from here you can see the data is changing if i select another one from here you can see changes if i select from both of them you may not get any data because mostly these cities are kind of similar kind of city now whether this is this page or let's say if i even duplicate this page they are on this page i would like to have sync slicer so i want to sync the slicer either on within the page or across the pages so how do i do that because if i select a value there is no way i can you know sync with this and if i go to let's say view and if I go to sync slicers, as you can see, I have do have an option where I can sync it with other page, but I don't seems to have an option where I can uh, sync these different one with it. So as you can see, I can see the slicer here. There are two slicers which I can see across different pages, which is visible. This one city customer city, as you can see, it is highlighting that customer city is available in those two pages and I can sync them by clicking on the value. So if I do this, if I clicked on let's say Atlanta here and if I go to the duplicate page you can see that Atlanta value if I sync it across the pages but how do I sync these two slicers on the same page which are from different dimensions let's look at the details of the sync slicers again in the sync slicer what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the advanced option I've unchecked the syncing right now I go to the advanced and I give it as a name so let me give it as a name city dy so I've given it as a name city dy and let me come to this slicer and also give it as a name city dy now this is city dy and this is also city dy let me select one of these so now you can see that whatever value i'm selecting here on the first slicer is also getting selected on the second slice so they are from different dimension but i am able to sync them now can i sync them across the page so what for that what we have to do is let's say this is the slicer where i go and here i so if i give the name as city underscore dy it will also get synced so let's say if i select a value austin here Go back to the first page you can see all these three slicer are now showing the austin value so i am able to sync across page which i was able to do previously but across a different dimension table or across different table columns i'm able to sync using sync slicer so the property is lying in the advance once you rename and give them a common name that is where you have an opportunity that you can sync slicer across tables with the columns coming from two different table columns this brings the advanced property of sync slicer provides an opportunity to sync two different columns from two different tables. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.